I'm Zach Aiden. And I'm Emily Earhart. Well, hopefully it starts getting warmer out there soon, Lee. It's a lot of hard work being a good student. Pa and Kayla want to go find out about this year's valedictorians. Only the elite and hardest working students earned the title of valedictorian. This year we have four. We went to go check out who they are. Although many students stay up late studying, Sophie Ball, Elaine Bainke, Emily Earhart, and Sarah Lucas went above and beyond to ace every course. With a lot of stress and anxiety, they were able to pull through and make it this far with a couple of sacrifices. With Sarah gone during filming, we were able to get three out of the four valedictorians to talk about their journey to the top. There were some nights where I had to not hang out with people and I like studied instead. I mostly had to sacrifice a lot of my after school nap time. Junior year was the most stressful year, um, and that was, you know, like a lot of late nights. Here year was really stressful, I guess, trying to get good grades, but this year it hasn't been so bad. Along with being great students, these girls have also participated in sports and extracurriculars that have benefited them. Well, I'm in theater, and that's a really big time commitment, so I often get home after five or after six almost every day. Marching band and pep band, swimming. I'm the president of German club. I'm in National Honor Society. I'm in theater. With this much on their shoulders, they have had successful paths and supportive family and friends to help them cope. No, my parents try and uh, they want me to get bad grades so that I know what failing is like, but I don't agree with them. <laughs> my friend Sophie, who's also valedictorian, is a uh, really good support for me because we push each other and we support each other along the way. Simley's valedictorians also plan to continue their best off at college. I definitely want to learn a lot and be able to get into a really high occupation. Like, I think it's important to do my best wherever I go. Yeah, um, my plan up till now is just, you know, get through high school. But Future advice from these gifted ladies includes staying organized, keeping in touch with friends, and giving yourself some downtime. Study hard, underclassmen. Maybe one day you'll be number one, too. This has been Pi Yang reporting for the Smart Spotlight. Study! Thanks, guys. I wish I knew one of the valedictorians. Something new that's been going on in technology is that new Google Translate app. I want to go find out. You might have heard about the new Google Translate app. We want to go find out more about it and how it could affect language classes here at Simley. Google Translate is an online language translator with over 60 languages to choose from. Now with the new app, you can physically talk into your device and it will translate. Some of the language teachers gave us their opinions. It's really not a, uh, a product or an app that you could use successfully because uh, A, it lessens the learning. It doesn't really teach you how to construct the language yourself. And B, it never comes out quite right. There are always, uh, there are always some glitches. Kids are going and putting in entire sentences. It's not the language. It's not the way that they're being taught because it just translates literal every word, word for word, and language does not do that. So. Though it may not be the best choice for students, it may be helpful in other ways. Well, I think if you were traveling and you needed to use it in a pinch, it would be okay. But definitely for language students in class, do not use it. It just, it's not going to bring up the right words necessarily because it's a machine. It doesn't know exactly what you're saying. A student gave us his opinion on having the new Google Translate app. It's definitely interesting, but I don't think it's going to, you know, affect the language classes that much because, you know, kids already use Google Translate. You know, it's not the, Google Translate isn't the most effective uh, online translator anyway. Another student admits to using Google Translate for language homework. Uh, I use Google Translate on occasion for new vocab. Hope you enjoyed learning more about the Google Translate app. This has been Zach Gaynor reporting for Spartan Spotlight. Goodbye. Adios. Thanks, Zach. No. Have you guys heard of what's been happening at the Theatre Guild lately? CJ went to go find out more about this year's musical. Hey, Simile. I'm CJ. I was wondering, have you guys ever heard of something called Little Shop Horse? It's a musical, and our Theatre Guild is doing it this year. Come on, let's go check it out. I asked some of the actors what they think of the play. Why is Little Shop of Horrors your favorite musical? Little Shop of Horrors is my favorite musical because it involves so many crazy and comical things. The play is about this guy who falls in love with this girl who is completely out of his league 
and in order to impress her, he gets this exotic plant, and in order to like make the plant grow, he has to feed it blood, and then that starts this whole whirlwind of a story, and it's a love story, it's a comedy, it's a musical, and it's just amazing in every way. So, the set for the show is like really interesting, the pit band is actually on like levels, which is different from what we normally do. So, the set of which should make you want to come to the show. The theater guild will be performing this play. No, the theater guild will be performing Thursday, May 2nd at 7 p.m., Friday the 3rd, and Saturday the 4th at 7.30, and Sunday the 5th at 3 o'clock. Hi again. Well, there you have it. I'm CJ, reporting for Spartan Spotlight, and uh, remember everybody, don't feed the plants. Theater Guild is so much fun, it's a great experience, and everybody should join it. Yes, you should. Yes. You should. Thanks, Caitlin. Well, that's it for this week, guys. Have a fantastic weekend. This has been Zach Inn. And Emily Earhart, reporting for Spartan Spotlight. Focus up on Google Plus and Twitter.